Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Rightway Options, and this is the morning market prep video for April 22nd, 2020. Yesterday, we had another day of nasty selling as oil prices continued to plunge, and they are still being a little bit challenged this morning, but are beginning to stabilize. That being said, we have kind of a, a good news, bad news situation here in the market. So what does that mean for today? Well, let's settle in, grab ourselves something to drink, and let's get ready for the hump day edition of the Morning Market Prep video. So this morning, we're looking at futures trying to push substantially higher. A couple things going on here. First, oil. Uh, futures are trying to stabilize here a little bit um, with uh, Brent crude down below $11 a barrel, but they're trying to stabilize here a little bit. And then the Senate came through passing a $484 billion uh, plan, the fourth major spending bill out of the federal government for the coronavirus. Now, this bill is going to add funds for small businesses, also aid to hospitals, and some huge money in there for additional testing uh, for the coronavirus. So all that being said, we have a market trying to show some particular bullishness here this morning um, looking to rally up. So as you can see yesterday, we closed um, just below here on the Dow. We have this little bit of a support area as we we've tested down in here several times. And now this morning and, and then yesterday, we ended up dipping below that here in the Dow. But this morning, we're looking at a gap up open. And as you can see, we're gapping back above that line. By the way, here in in TC2000, um, you can see um, opening prices are where the futures are actually trading. Looking at that little red triangle right there, it shows me the bid ask spreads and um, the price action of the market in the morning. So this morning we're going to pop back up above that level. That is a good sign in this, uh, technically speaking, because we're holding on to price supports. Now, can that hold all day? I honestly don't know. I, I have no clue what comes next in the market. But what I will tell you is that is a good sign technically if we can hold on to that. Now, if that were to fail, I would watch for a test down into this area. Now, unfortunately, when we look at this market, if I draw, if I'm very technical on drawing a trend line here, we did break that uptrend here in the diamonds. But moving back up, we can quickly recover that if we can get um, some energy here to the upside. So let's watch that closely. Um, cl obviously, we are still well below our 50-day moving average, better get to a daily, we're well below our 50-day moving average, and that 50-day moving average is continuing to slide south. It hasn't started to turn yet, it's still moving south, so this consti constitutes a failure of that 50-day moving average thus far. Let's take a look at the SPY. SPY also has that same failure here on the 50-day moving average. And as you can see, uh, failing also at its 500-day moving average, which is that green line. So 50 is crossed down through the 500. We have that little bit of failure pattern. And once again, if I am really picky about the drawing of my trend lines, yesterday the SPY gave up that trend and technically it broke some support here in the chart but as you can see this morning we're looking to move back higher regain or hold on to any of those support levels so the good news is i think the bulls are doing their job here trying to hold on quite well we'll just have to see if they can actually have enough energy to push through in the face of a big day of earnings reports let's take a look at the cues now the cues definitely the strongest index of the bunch but it also had the biggest sweep of selling yesterday. And that really kind of makes sense because we were the most extended index here in the 
uh, NASDAQ, and it pulled back sharply, but the positive news is it held on by the end of the day, held on to that 50-day moving average, and this morning, looking to gap up. Now, that gap up's not getting a whole lot of help from Netflix. Um, Netflix reported earnings yesterday, a huge subscriber increase um, due to the coronavirus. But as they went through their conference call, the price settled back down, and now Netflix is looking to open a little bit lower. So um, kind of an interesting situation here, but that that um, NASDAQ market is trying to bounce back. And technically, if we take a look, and depending on how picky you draw this trend, we're still holding nicely in this trend on uh, the NASDAQ. So this is our strongest index and may provide those opportunities for some potential trades. Let's take a look at IWM. Now IWM um, just continues to be a, a pretty sad situation here um still below its 34 ema still struggling here with the 2018 lows the weakest of the indexes by far and still struggling uh, around here but one good sign one good news uh, piece here is that we um, ended up yesterday still holding on to some price support and we're holding on to this slight uptrend here in IWM so the possibility that we could move on up and test these highs once again looks pretty pretty solid and as you can see this morning getting a little bit of a price bump up here on IWM. Let's take a look at the VIX. Now that VIX came back, pulled into that 50-day moving average, dropped below it, tested it as, resi as resistance, failed, but then reversed back up. So closing yesterday above a 45 handle, raising some fears in the market. However, I su suspect that the um, little bit of a uh, pop-up that we're going to get this morning could even close back down below that 50, showing that that fear may be well, just really short-lived as long as oil continues to stabilize. So we'll want to keep a close eye on that um, as that goes along. But right now, fear hanging in there. And if we take a look at some uh, support in the chart, price support in the chart, holding off in that area is not really that big of a surprise, just a little hold in that um, support area right there. So let's see um, how this responds today. I suspect we'll get a gap down, but let's keep an eye on that fear. It could easily creep back up, particularly if oil continues to, um, to plunge. Let's take a look at um, T21. 22. Now, T2122 was indicating that we were in a very overbought condition up here. And the slide yesterday helped a lot in settling some of that off. Unfortunately, we're going to gap back up this morning. And what we've seen in this market is we're just an all or nothing market. Either we're just buying like we can't find enough stocks to buy or we're selling like every like the world's coming to an end. We can't seem to get any calming down here of this crazy volatility but let's watch this this morning if we really catch a lot of buyers and really get strong here that possibility that we could poke right back up here into that bearish reversal zone is possible so let's watch that closely um, as we rally back up this morning let's take a look at our economic calendar for today our economic calendar has quite a little bit on here for us to consider and uh, honestly more um, on the earning side of things but we do have a, a, a number today that could move us around you know we've been moving all over the place because of oil and today we're going to get at 10 30 a.m eastern we're going to get the latest reading on the petroleum status report. Now, no one expects this to be a really good thing. They're going to start asking people to fill up their swimming pools and bathtubs here soon um, with demand being so low and production. The production cuts from OPEC really haven't really haven't really taken effect and we haven't been able to absorb um, all that demand just yet. So that number could be critical today. 
if it is shockingly critical um, to the market, we could see that uh, crude continue to slide. If it's not as bad as a lot of folks expect, then maybe we could begin to see oil stabilize and start to rally off of these uh, bottoms. There's only so much oil, and we know that eventually oil will go up. Um, but right now, pretty dangerous situation in that uh, market, and that will destabilize um, prices if um, that continues to slide. So let's take a look at our earnings calendar. Now, earnings today, we have a big round of earnings, and I'm not going to go through all of the all of the companies reporting this morning, but we have companies like DAL reporting. We have Alcoa reporting. AT&T will be reporting today. BIIB, uh, Biogen, um, will be reporting today. Stocks like uh, KMB, Kimberly Clark, um, KMI, Kinder Morgan um, reporting today. Las Vegas Sands reporting today. So lots of stocks out there to report and we'll be seeing those numbers coming in pretty quickly this morning. It's gonna be probably a mixed bag how the market reacts it really all depends too on just how low analysts have moved those targets down, um, how these stocks respond. And what we've seen so far, analysts have moved the, the targets so low that some companies are beating those targets. Um, even though their numbers are terrible, they're beating the targets because analysts move, the, move them so low. So let's keep an eye on that. Um, and as you can see, we're getting just these little gap ups in a lot of different places this morning. Let's take a look at some stocks that could be setting up and a few things that you might want to be watching here in the market. But before we do that, if you guys could do me a favor, if you um, find these videos to be helpful, if this is the first time you've seen these videos, if you could please do me a favor and click that subscribe button on YouTube and also click that bell icon when it pops up so that you can be notified. Hopefully you see that what I do is a little bit different than some. I am I, I try to completely avoid the hype and the drama. I, I avoid predicting which way the market is going to go. And I just look at the technicals and the things that we need to be considering for the day. Now, I can tell you that's helped me tremendously over my trading career, allowed me to trade full time for a living for 15 years. And um, I hope you find this as helpful um, as well. And if you do, if you could click that thumbs up button and also leave a brief comment, I would really appreciate it helping us to continue to grow the channel and reach more and more folks. So thank you everyone for your help. You guys are awesome. So with that, let's take a look at some stocks that may be setting up a few things that I've been kind of keeping an eye on here and I'm interested in. One being XLE. Now, full disclosure, I actually hold some XLE and recently have added to that trade. Um, here in the energy sector, um, now I know, I don't think this is going to be one of those things that just zooms back up or anything like that, but I'm holding the stock here in XLE. And the reason I am is I have a pretty high confidence that um, energies will begin to recover as the market begins to recover. And we can see that rally back up. And I'm not looking for huge, um, you know, home run hits. I'm not trying to get rich on one trade or anything like that. As a matter of fact, I would be looking for a move just really back up here into the middle of the range. Um, something we call reversion to the mean, or I call reversion to the mean. And that is really just, you know, if I grab a fib tool just to display this, just a rally back up here into half of that sell-off. Um, is what I'm looking for. And that would be a nice, huge potential gain here on um, XLE. So keep an eye on that. And those oil sector stocks um, might be an area to, to purchase. Now, I might have gone directly to specific stocks like um, ExxonMobil or, or something like that to just pick up some of that. But I didn't want to face the direct exposure to the earnings events because I expect those earnings events to be pretty 
pretty substantial this quarter. So I'm staying with more of the ETF here so I don't have direct exposure. And because options are really pretty darn crummy because of the high implied volatility, wide bid ask spreads, and, and relatively low open interest, I'm staying away from those right now and choosing to just pick up some stock here. But something to consider. There's also some really good moves starting to happen in other places. You know, Coca-Cola reported yesterday kind of a disappointing move here on Coke um, or disappointing results on Coke, seeing their demand slide. But this is one of those companies I would suspect that would begin to bounce back. Now, a little bit of concern here because we dropped down below this level of support. And that's a break of that support. But by the end of the day, we held on here. And as you can see, we're perking back up here a little bit this morning. So if we can hold this level of support, bounce back up off of there, we may see Coke start to rebound. Seeing good signs in other defensive stocks, um, the same like PepsiCo. PepsiCo um, holding up pretty well. It has pulled back the last few days, but I'm, I, I want those pullbacks for those low risk entries into trades. Take a look at Kroger. Kroger held on really, really well. As a matter of fact, I've placed an alert on Kroger for myself. And what I like about it is we had all of this crazy wild volatility in here, but what's happening now is notice that that volatility is starting to shrink. We're getting smaller and smaller in price action as we move over toward that trend. So I'm watching for that opportunity that that may pop up out of there. So keeping a close eye on Kroger. Take a look at Yum Brands. Yum Brands holding up very, very well. Yum had a nice little pullback here occurring. Any rest now, if it, it continues to rest in here and slide over, I would be watching for that opportunity for that next move off of that trend. Yum looking pretty good and something you might want to keep an eye on. Another place you might want to look is in some of the financial sector. Uh, if we take a look at XLF, XLF has had a pullback here over the last few days and it's holding in here on support. Now, technically we did break that trend, but as you can see, we're popping up again here this morning. And if that can recover, we might wanna look at some of those financial sector areas for some possible buys um, in the market. But let's watch that closely. There could be um, always the possibility of more selling coming in. Um, on these trades. One of the things we have to watch for, and I'm going to be, I'm going to kick on uh, moving averages here. If we look at quite a few stocks, um, we have to notice that we're being challenged by the 50 day moving average. But you can see I've placed an alert here on Starbucks. And one of the things I'm going to be watching for is we pulled back into this price support. And if that can actually hold in here and pop right back up, there may be some opportunity in some of these stocks. So we're going to be watching quite a few of those stocks that are being challenged by that 50 day moving average, but trying to hold in those levels. Here's another one, McDonald's. I've got an alert here on this, trying to hold in here on these price supports, sliding south, calming down the volatility just a little bit. But we need that love in the market to really push it through. Now, one thing I'm gonna uh, continuously point out here to everyone is don't rush into trades until you have taken a look at um, that next earnings date. Those next earnings are gonna be really, really important and markets could really fluctuate a lot around those earnings reports. So this is where we're finally starting to see the real impacts of the virus as far as company prices go. So watch those things closely. Healthcare is another um, area. Um, that you might want to take a look at. Take a look at Humana here. Now Humana pulling back and you can see well above our 50, well above our 200 and 500 in here. We rallied straight back up and we're challenging these resistance levels up here. But this pullback the last couple of days could set up an opportunity in some of these health sector stocks. And what I would be looking for is just looking for that, that buy signal, that hold 
right in this area. Now, I wouldn't want to suggest that we come down here and just turn around and bounce right back up. We may pull back down into this area here and then consolidate a little bit, consolidate in this range before we get the energy to push back up. But let's watch those closely. And those health sector stocks may get a little bit of a boost um, today. Um, hospital stocks with money going out, testing money going out, all kinds of things from the federal government. So something to watch there in charts. So with that, everyone, I want to wish you all a fantastic day. I want to wish you the very, very best in your trading. I truly, truly do. Um, be careful, be safe, um, keep your family safe. Um, we still have a long ways to go before um, we're going to be back to no normal in this country. So just be a little bit cautious. Stay very, very focused to price action and try to set aside your bias here and just be really focused on price. Everyone, I wish you all the best. Have an awesome day. Take care and we'll talk to you all bright and early Thursday morning. Have a good one.